Hi, this is Ron Tanner from Van Adventures. And this is the first in a series of videos on van camping off the grid. And today, Cleo and I are camping in the snow, cold camping. Last night I had the option of paying $37 to plug in the van. And I just, I just couldn't do it, $37 just to plug in my heater. So I went to a rest stop. And the way I kept warm was I kept the van running all night. Now you can do that with a diesel engine. And this is why you see truckers always keeping their engines going through the night because a diesel engine at idle hardly consumes any, any fuel at all. I don't know if you can do that with a gas engine. You tell me. But let's talk a little bit more about cold camping. Breakfast. I love grapefruit. Now one thing to keep in mind about van camping, no matter what kind of van you have, you need a carbon monoxide alarm. They're like fire alarms, battery operated, you get a lithium 9 volt battery for these. It costs from uh, you know, 40 to 60 dollars, cheap, and they can save your life. Uh, it, particularly if you keep your van running at night for any length of time. Um, as I said, when I park overnight on a very cold night, I keep my van running all night long because it's a diesel engine. Got to have a carbon monoxide alarm just in case somehow the exhaust gets into the car. And one of the first symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning is that you get sleepy. It just puts you to sleep. And you'll never know so please do that for yourself now <clears throat> now if you cannot keep your van running all night the easiest thing to do is to run your van for about two hours fill the van with heat from the dash just from your typical dash heater and then uh, bundle up, um, get some earmuffs or a headband like this, cover your ears, and get piled under the Cleo stop, and get piled under blankets. If you have a dog, bring the dog in with you because that's going to really help with the warmth. Uh, you'll get really cold at night. It'll be really cold in the van at night, but you'll be fine. And in the morning, you can start the van up again and heat up your cabin and all that. The problem is, if you have water in the van and it gets really cold, that water is going to freeze. And um, in the case of a toilet, um, the water will freeze inside the toilet um, and it will actually break the toilet. And the now, some of you might have gas space heaters. I really don't recommend a gas space heater, mainly for this reason. If you want to fill the van with heat, use your dash heater. You know, just turn on the van and use your dash heater. Because a space heater you can only use for a short time anyway because of the carbon monoxide that it creates. So I just don't recommend uh, gas space heaters at all. Just turn on your van, use the dash heater, fill the van with heat, and then make the best of that. Now, if you have a rig like mine, which has a battery bank, you must have an inverter. And um, <clears throat> so if you have a rig like that, and you've got an AC connection here as opposed to a DC, and I have both AC and DC all over this fan, here's the heater I recommend. It's called Alasco My Heat. Tiny little thing. It operates on only 200 watts. I've never seen a heater that operates on lower wattage than this. Usually they're up to like 1500 watts for a space heater. Ridiculous. You could not use those in your van, but you can use this. And uh, if you have to conserve energy, what you can do is just turn this on in the morning and turn this on at night and then again get under your bundle of blankets and whatnot. If it's really, really cold, and you need to protect your plumbing system from the cold, this might do it. You can just put this in the back near your, your 
your pipes, wherever, whatever you've got there, and um, and keep it on all night. Let's see what. Now, my rig has heating pads under the tanks, under the black water tank and also the fresh water tank and the gray water tank. Heating pads, um, and they're DC powered, and they have a thermostat, so when it gets to 30 or so, they turn on automatically. Frankly, I don't know if mine are working right now. <laughs> I don't know. I've got to test them. But I'm out in the cold, and they seem to be working, but <clears throat> um, I have to check them out. There we go. Oh, she smells her food. See, there's her food. She's a little worked up about that. Mm-hmm. See the snow out there? No, that's where I'm going to be. You can't have that. No, no, you can't be on my blanket. No. Uh-uh. Come over here. There you go. Okay. All right. All right. Look at her. Here she is. If we keep the engine running all night, it's toasty in here. I mean, it's really toasty in here. Just keep the heater on. The car heater. So we're, we're getting the heat from the engine. It's about 10 degrees out right now. But it's warm enough in here so that I, I'm just wearing shorts and a t-shirt. And I'm going to be under a sheet and a blanket. And that's about it. And Cleo is just going to be at the foot of the bed. But if it was really cold, uh, we would both be bundled under the blankets. This is the full extent of our little camper van world. And before we say goodnight, we're going to watch a little bit of Rocky and Bullwinkle, one of my favorites when I'm on the road. So good luck with your camping in the cold. And come visit us at vanadventures.com. It's a wonderful world. Here you go. I need a surprise. Hello, there's no. I've got more than my share. Baby, I must be lucky through and through. It's a wonderful world.